Hello dear viewers. Hello watazamaji wetu. Now we are coming live. Sasa tunakuja tena hewani. Direct to you. Uh, pamoja hewani uh, pamoja nanyi from Zion Gospel Assembly's Church Gardens. Tuko katika kanisa la Zayuni katika bustani hapa Zayun. And uh, in front of us. Na mbele yetu We have our brother, a pastor, a servant of God in this church. Please, brother, introduce yourself. I'm Pastor Eric Boniface. I'm from a church of Musoma. This is my home church. Come and be with us in this time. God bless you. Asante sana. Thank you. Pamoja na Spia tunaye ndugu yetu. Together with us we have our brother. Ndugu karibu sana jitambulishe. Uh, you are welcome. Hi dear viewers. Hello watazamaji wetu. We welcome you direct from the church. Tunawakaribisha here in Msoma. Tunawakaribisheni katika viwanja na bustani za hapa kanisani Msoma. Us now. Sasa mtufuatilie pamoja nasi sasa. Tunawakaribisheni. Karibu. You're welcome. Asante sana. Thank you. My Asante name is, sana. My name sorry I'm Pastor yeah. Amas. I'm sorry. Aha. Uh -huh, <laughs> Kwa jina lake ni Pastor Amas from Musoma Church. Kutoka katika kanisa la Msoma. Pleasure to have with you. Ni furaha kuwa nawe hapa. Asante sana. Pia tunaye ndugu mwingine. Also we have our brother here. Karibu ndugu jitambulishe. Asante. Introduce. Introduce yourself. Asante. Thank you. Jina langu ninaitwa Joseph Nyakarungu. By my name I'm Joseph Nyakarungu. Ni mtumishi wa Mungu hapa Msoma. I'm a servant of God here in Msoma. Uh, Lakini pia nasimamia tawi miongoni mwa tawi la kanisa hili. I also look after a church, one of the branches. Uh, Ambalo liko mwanzo church. wa mji kidogo mahali panaitwa Bweri. Which is located uh, located at Bweri. Ningependa kukukaribisha. So I would like to welcome you. Siku moja. One of the days. Karibu sana tuungane pamoja. Come and be with us. Kumwabudu Mungu. Kuosipaga. Itakuwa jambo la furaha. Asante sana. Amen. Asante sana. Asante sana. Thank you. Sasa watumishi wa Mungu. So servants of God. Karibuni sana. You're welcome. Asante. Katika studio zetu za ZGA Church. In our studios here in ZGA. Tunao furaha kuwa pamoja nanyi hapa Msoma. Ah uh, we have uh, we have Amen. pleasure to we have uh, pleasure to be with you today. Kwa kweli tumebarikiwa sana kuwa hapa mjini Msoma wiki nzima. And we have been blessed to be here in Msoma the whole week. Na tunayo furaha hata ndugu zetu maeneo mbalimbali. And we are we are so happy even our brothers from different corners of the world. Kujiunga pamoja nanyi. To go live with us. Na kushiriki maneno ya Mungu pamoja. And to share the word of God together with us. Ili tupate kufaidia mwili wa Kristo. So that we can benefit the body of Christ. Sasa pasipo kupoteza muda. So without wasting much more time. Siku ya leo today tungetamani kujua. We we'll like to know nafasi ya kiongozi wa kiroho kanisani the position of the servant of god in the church nafasi ya kiongozi wa kiroho kanisani the position of a leader in the church kwa maana tunajua because we all know pasipo kiongozi without a leader kanisa limepotea the church is lost na yesu pia anasema mahala fulani and uh, also jesus says in a, in a place kwamba ole wa mtu ambaye kiongozi wake ni kipofu that oh to those who their leaders are blind na wengine nasema kwamba wawili kama ukiongozwa kipofu akiongozwa na kipofu and sometimes people say that when you are led by a blind person basi wote wawili wataingia simoni so if you are led by a blind person it is probably that you may fall on a, a, a on a pit on a pit, on a pit. Sawa. Sasa tukianza nawe ndugu Amas. Uh, beginning with you Pastor Amas. Labda kwa kifupi utuambie nafasi ya kiongozi wa kiroho kanisani ni ipi? Briefly you can elaborate to us what is the position of a pastor or a leader in the church? Thank you so much brother Paul. Asante, asante sana kaka Paul. This this theme is so important. Eh, hey, so mwili ni muhimu sana. As you mm. said, we are going to look on the role of a leader in the church. Kama tulivyotangulia kusema kwamba tutaenda kuona nafasi ya kiongozi kanisani. Ni muhimu sana. Because when we look at the church today, kwa sababu tunapoliona kanisa la leo, it is 
it is sad that we see all things of all kinds of chaos. Sabu inastajabisha na inauzulisha sana tunapaona kia ina ya walibi. This is because of the leaders. Na hii yote inasawabishwa na viongozi. Let us discuss today about the role of a church leader. Na hebu tujadi leo na fasi ya kiongozi kanisa. For the well-being of the church itself. Kwa jiri ya kuifaidia kanisa. When I look at the Bible. Inapoitezama Biblia. I see many times. Ninaona mara nyingi. That is. Spiritual, spiritual leaders kwamba kiongozi wa kiroho were well raised walilelewa vizuri they grew under the noble people walikuwa chini ya watu maalumu they were disciplined people na walikuwa wamenidhamika they were men that were, uh, were approved ni watu ambao walithibitishwa they mm. were real disciples under the feet of other respected leaders walikuwa ni wafuasi na wanafunzi wa kweli chini ya viongozi wengine lakini mm. ni hatari sana if the church is led by someone who is not disciplined kama kanisa itaongozwa yes. na mtu asiyekuwa na nidhamu so the things we see today in the church wale mambo tunayaona leo kanisani all these circles that we see in the church aya za kasi zote ambazo tunaziona kanisani it is a product of the role of the leaders ni matunda ya kazi ya viongozi yes. kanisani so let us discuss today kwa hebu tujadili mm. leo the dangers that lay uh, atari zinazoibuka when the church is led by someone who is not a real a vessel of honor to lead the church. Pindi kanisa linaongozwa na kiongozi ambaye sio chombo cha heshima kanisani. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, moja kwa moja asante sana kwa utangulizi huo. Uh, thank you for that uh, introduction. Naam, tunaye ndugu Eric. So we are together with us Pastor Eric. Nini nafasi ya kiongozi wa kiroho kanisani? What is the position of the leader in the church? Na unaionaje? And what can you say? And what can you say about the church? Nafasi ya kiongozi kanisani. The position of a leader in the church ni nafasi ya uzazi is the position of Naam. a parent ni nafasi ya ubaba is the position of a father na kwa namna yoyote ile kiongozi mm. so in one way or another a leader maisha yake mm. maisha yake uh. namna alivyo mm. the way he is athiri mm. wale watu wanaoongoza uh. the way he is may affect the people that is tunapozungumza uh, kiongozi kanisani so when yeah. we speak about a leader in the church tunamtazamo hasa wa kiroho so we Dio. look upon the spiritual leader kiongozi huyu kama hata kuwa mtu wa rohoni if this uh, leader won't be a spiritual person watu wao wanaoongoza hawatakuwa wa roho so it's probably the people that is leading may not be spiritual mm. kwa hiyo kiufupi kwa so mtazamo i can say ambao mimi ninaona I can say kiongozi ni mzazi. The leader is the parent. Yeye ndiye mzazi anayeza au anaitwa uhai. Kiongozi ni mzazi. Uh, uh, leader is the is the Ndugu Nyakarumu. Uh, so brother Nyakarumu. Kiongozi ni mzazi. Uh, a leader Kani is the parent in the church. Na kama ni kweli. So if it's true? Tunaona mfano gani leo? What example do we have? Nini nafasi ya kiongozi kanisani? What is the position of a leader in the church? Mm. Asante uh, sana ndugu yangu Paulo. Thank Now. you my brother Paul. Kwa kweli kati ya vitu muhimu among us, what the, uh, the most important thing yeah. ni jambo hili tunalojadili sasa hivi. What is what we are discussing tonight now? Kwa kweli hakuna kitu cha muhimu sana kama kiongozi. Mm. A leader is a very crucial and important person. Tukimpata kiongozi mzuri, if we have a very good leader tutafanya vizuri sana. We are all going to do good. Na tukimpata kiongozi mbaya, and if we have a bad leader, hata kama tungekuwa na moyo wa kufanya vizuri, even if we could have a heart to, to do good, hatutaweza kwa sababu yeye yuko pale ameweka barrier atuweze. We won't because he will be like a barrier to uh, hinder us. Na nikwambie ni kitu kimoja ndugu yangu Paul. So let me tell you one thing Paul. Ukimpata kiongozi mzuri wa kiroho. If you have a good leader, a spiritual leader. Ninaposema kiongozi mzuri si maanishi mwenye sura nzuri. Yeah. 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 Ninaposema kiongozi mzuri. But when I'm speaking about a good leader, yani ninamaanisha mtu ambaye yuko tayari kutangulia kuonyesha njia. I mean mm. a person that is ready to show the way. Kuonyesha njia. Eh hey, sio hawa way. wanaokaa madhabahuni wenye kwenye viti vikubwa not people uh. sitting at the pulpit with very big chairs uh. ninasema kiongozi ambaye yuko tayari kutangulia njia i'm speaking uh-huh. about a leader who is ready to show the way na kuonyesha hiyo njia and to show the way arafu watu wakafumfuata and people uh. to follow him kupitia maisha yake through his uh. own life sio maneno yake not, not his one 
kupitia maisha yake. Yaani maisha yake that is life yanatuonyesha njia. Show us the way. Tukimpata kiongozi huyo, yeah. if we have a certain kind of leader, tutafanya vizuri sana. We are ndiyo. going to do very good. Maana ukisoma kwenye kitabu cha Yohana, yeah. that's why when we need the Bible in the book of, of John, verse yeah. uh, uh, 10, chapter 10. Yesu anasema Jesus says mimi ndimi mchungaji mwema that i am a good i am a good uh, shepherd, shepherd. Yes. mchungaji mwema hutoa uhai wake a good shepherd keeps his life sasa uhai huo naoongelea huo so the life that i'm speaking about ndio haya maisha is, it, is this life anasema kiongozi wa msha, mchungaji wa mshahara he says that a leader uh, who is uh, is, uh, who is a paid mchungaji wa mshahara hawezi kuangalia maisha yake a paid leader can never look upon our lives Mbwa mwitu akija atakimbia. When wolves come is going to run out. Sasa leo tuna wachungaji wengi wa mshahara. So today we have many uh, salary leaders. Tuna watumishi wengi wa mshahara. Uh. We have many leaders who are just going to Tuna viongozi wakubwa tena na coffee zimepanda kwenda huko juu. Very uh. good readers with very big hearts. <laughs> Ni wa mshahara. Just uh. for the salary. Yuko pale. Is there? kwa sababu ya masirai fulani only because of certain kind of benefits na ndio maana unaweza kukuta jumapili that's why you can see on sunday kule kule nyumbani kwa kwa mtumishi mm. uh, in, a, in, a, in the house of a pastor wengine uchumi haukwenda vizuri maybe yeah. the, the economically it was not good labda sukari haikuepo yeah. no enough uh, sugar kesho yake jumapili yeah. but on sunday mtumishi atakuja amevaa kora yeah. he's going to come away wearing a, a, a suit na sauti tabadilika and with a very big sound utasikia haleluya utasikia <laughs> oh haleluya bwana asifiwe praise the lord mumeraniwa hamtorei bwana you have been cursed because you're not giving to god unaona ataanza kusoma maandiko ya kuu yanayohusu kutoa hela he is going to read scriptures about giving money atatafuta kila aina ya andiko nalo kusisimua ili umtaraniwa yani ili utoe pesa and he's going to look for verses that are going to trigger you to give money mimi sina shida kwamba watu tusitoe I, I'm not bringing to, 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 to give money. Money. Yes, yeah. supposed to give money. Lakini motive ambayo inamsukuma huyu mtumishi kuja kuniambia taraniwa. The, but the motivation that uh, bring this leader to to uh, bring me to give money. Sio kwa sababu Mungu ameongea naye. It's not because God has spoken to him. Lakini kwa sababu nyumbani hakuna sukari. It's because in his home there is no sugar. Nyumbani hakuna matumizi. Uh, yes, no sir. enough uh, money. Sasa huyu ni kiongozi ambaye kama mchungaji wangu hapa amesema hana speed governor hana adabu. Uh, so we can say as my leader here said that this is a pastor without a speed governor. Yaani hajaadabishwa kiroho. He's not been disciplined. Kwa kweli acha nikwambie ndugu yangu. So let me tell you my brother. Na ili Mungu akuamini kuwa kiongozi. That God to trust you to be a leader. Rafiki yangu haichukui siku mbili. It does not take just two days. Itachukua muda. It takes years. Maandalizi ya kimungu. Preparations by God himself. Utapitishwa njia ngumu. Taken through hard ways. Hayo yote ni maandalizi unaandaliwa. This is all because to be prepared ili uwe kiongozi wa kiroho. That might be a spiritual leader. Ah. Leo tunaona mtu anaenda Bible school miaka miwili. See now there's people just going for a Bible school. Amefundisha Biblia nzima? Yeah, uh-huh. now he goes and be taught the whole Bible. Akija hapa na kora na tuambia yeye ni kiongozi ni mchungaji. When he mm. comes back here with the collar and the suit is the pastor. Haiwezi kuja hivyo. <coughs> that is not easy. Ili uwe kiongozi for you to become a leader. Hatupati kiongozi Bible school. You never get leaders in Bible school. Huko hatupati hapo tutapata viongozi wenye wenye maelezo mengi lakini maisha yao si sifuri. Leaders with many words but their Aisha lives are zero. Sifuri tena ile ile sifuri yenye masikio. Zero is years. <laughs> yaani kwenye maisha hakuna kabisa. In life there is nothing. Lakini maneno ya Mungu anayo mengi sana. But God, words of God wanaweza elezea mengi sana. Speak many sasa huyu sio mfano. It's not an example. Na ninakumbuka and I remember nafikiri kwenye zile nchi nchi za uh, Israeli uh, uh, kwa Israel, kiongozi au mchungaji wa kondoo. When uh, find a leader or a shepherd huwa anatangulia mbele. Is always uh-huh. God leading the way. Alafu kondoo wanamfuata. And then yeah. the ships following. Sasa hii ndio hali ya mtumishi wa kiroho. So this mm. is the kind of a situation Ikiwa that ni shida a spiritual leader ikiwa ni shida akutane na yeye kwanza if there is any problem is the first to encounter akutane na yeye kwanza ah, if there is any problem hapo hapo ni mzee amas so our pastor amas if it is a problem kama ni shida a pastor should face it first before the church kwamba mchungaji anatakiwa kuipitia kabla ya wafuasi wake how this how far this is true Je, unaweza kutuelezea kwa umbali gani hii ni kweli? And 
what do, we, do we expect from a leader as the church? Do we have spiritual leaders today or we have those, spirit, uh, those leaders just for money? or for their own benefits. And what is the difference? How can we differentiate? Maybe, let me say that. As my brother said here, a spiritual leader or a church leader is someone who carries the life the life of God. Yes. His life, his life is a model. Mm. A model. It's like he himself is replenishing sons and daughters of the kingdom. His life is a reproducer. That's why when you look at the Bible, mm. from the very beginning, when God created Adam and Eve, the Bible says he created man and a woman and he blessed them and he told them to replenish so now if I'm replenishing people of my own my own soul <laughs> that means they are my sons and they are my yes. if there is any problem I will stand to defend them mm. I will be leading them I will never take, uh, uh, take my children mm. even these natural children instead of me taking the front way so the Bible says we spiritual leaders. You just look what Paul said. Look at what Paul said in the book of Philippians chapter, Philippians chapter 4, I think. And verse 9, just one verse. Mm. Or maybe, okay, 9, 9, 9, 9, verse 9, 4, 9. It says, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, mm -hmm. or seen in me, put it into practice. Put it into practice. He, yeah, put what you have seen from me into practice. Mm -hmm. He is a model. His life speaks louder than his mouth. Mm. Mm. Today we have just good speakers. Orienters of, of, of words. Good, good, good wisdom in speaking. But all the wisdom of men. It will never build the church. Because it is the life giving. Huh? You, you must be giving your life to gain life. To gain, to gain, life. I mean, to gain, to gain people with life. So, your question was, so yes, your Am I the one to face or to encounter problem before the Christian? The answer is yes. Because they are my people. They are my own soul. I must risk my love for their lives. You know my brother, when we started this church in Zion Gospel Assembly, I remember clearly our first annual conference. I remember clearly our first annual conference. And there were people, just a group of people. And there were people, just a group of people. I think we were about above 20. And then during debating some of the things that we wanted to agree together, my brother, we, we almost fought one another. And there, and there we started looking for someone to be our model. We try to find someone who is an elderly person. Preacher. So that he will be our model. He so will be an example for us. And advise us. And, and help us whenever we encounter problems. So, we could find no one. Here in our country. But God is wise. God is hard our, our cry. And he brought into our encounter. Brother Miki. Through one man. 
kupitia ndugu mmoja who encountered God ambaye alikutana na Mungu mm. one man mtu mmoja one man today mm. leo hii we have sons and daughters all over almost all over the world tunao wana wa kike na kiume hata ulimwengu ni kwetu tunaona jinsi mtu mmoja anatoa hai wake na anazalisha wana wengine many anazalisha wengine in the book of john chapter 11 katika kitabu cha yohana sura ya 11 very very good scripture here that i want to my, my, my our viewers to to hear kuna mstari mmoja hapa mzuri sana ambao ningependa wasikilizaji wetu 11 of the book of uh, um, john sura ya 11 katika kitabu cha yohana Good, 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 good. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Come in. Yes. Okay, verse 47. Verse 47. Sari wa 47. Mm. Mm. Oh, maybe to serve them let us read the verse. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, verse 47 is good. Uh, Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the Sanhedrin and then they said what are we accomplishing they asked here is a man performing many miraculous signs if we let him go on like this everyone will believe in him and then the romans will come and take away both our place and our nation then one of my, one of them named Caiaphas who was a high priest that year spoke up you you know nothing at all you do not realize that it is better for for you that one man die for the people that the whole nation than the whole nation perish he he did not say this in his own hmm. but as a high priest that year he prophesied that Jesus would die for the Jewish nation and not only for the national but also for the scattered children of god to bring them together and make them one na bibi anasema kuanzia mstari wa 47 kwamba good good answer for your question basi wakuu wa makuu na mafarisayo na makuu this man is say yes na makusanyiko a bit let him read let him bibi anasema basi wakuu wa makuani na mafarisayo wakakusanyika baraza wakasema tunafanya nini maana mtu huyu afanya ishara nyingi e, tukimwacha hivi watu wote watamwandamia na warumi watakuja wata, wataondolewa mahali petu na taifa letu mm. mtu mmoja miongoni mwao kayafa mm. alikuwa kuani mkuu mwaka ule mm. akawaambia ninyi amjui neno lolote mm. wala amfikiria kwamba yafaa mtu mmoja afe kwa ajili mm. ya watu wala lisiangamie taifa zima mm. neno hili neno hilo yeye akuisema kwa nafsi yake bali kwa kuwa alikuwa kwa ni mkuu mwaka ule mm. alitabia kwamba Yesu atakufa kwa ajili ya taifa hili wala si kwa ajili ya taifa hilo tu lakini pamoja na hayo awakusanye watoto wa Mungu waliotawanyika ili wawe wa moja mm. basi tangu siku ile walifanya Sauli na kumuua okay thank ah uh, bwana Yesu asifiwe mm. now kwa hiyo the, the high priest kuani mkuu this man kayafas mtu huyu ka, kayafa is speaking anaongea to the board of sanhedrin anaongea kwa baraza la makuu ma, ma, it is makuwa. better that one man dies kwamba ni vizuri mtu mmoja mm-hmm. afi rather than the whole nation perish badala ya taifa zima lote kupotea they said not only that na akasema siwa hivyo tu not only for the nation si tu kwa ajili ya taifa also for the broad scattered children of god lakini hata kwa ajili ya watu watoto wa Mungu waliotawanyika scattered abroad wale watu waliotawanyika to be gathered together ili wakusanyike and tena and to be one na wewe wa moja this is god's way hii ndio njia ya Mungu ya kulijenga kanisa lenye nguvu through the life kupitia uhai unaotolewa as i said earlier kama nilivyosema hapo mm-hmm. awali now kwamba sasa i always say to people ninasema mara zote kwa watu one man met god kwamba mtu mmoja anakutana na mungu he allowed god to deal with him na akamruhusu mungu ashughulike naye he, he was willing to give his life na alikuwa tayari kuyatoa maisha yake you know, our life is like a seed najua maisha yetu ni yes. kama mbegu when we plant our life tunapoyapanda maisha yetu we Tuna, tunapata tunakuvu tunavuna matunda tunavuna watoto okay yes. that's, why, that's what the bible says na ndio bibia inavyosema unless i came up with this fall downs and dies hata mbegu ya ngano sipanguka na kufa haitazaa matunda lazima ifi it will produce ili iweze kuzaa many seeds Maz, um, mbegu nyingi so, zaidi kwa hiyo the man here is say 
mtu mtu huyu anasema inahitajika mtu mmoja afe for the nation to be saved hii taifa aliyokolewa and also for the gathering together hata watoto waliotawanyika waweza kukusanyika pamoja so you God does his work. Kwa hiyo tunaweza kuona jinsi Mungu anafanya kazi yake. The life of a leader. Kupitia maisha ya kiongozi. The life of a leader. Maisha ya kiongozi. Six loud. Yanaongea kwa nguvu to the church. Kwa kanisa. Yes. Life of a leader. Maisha ya kiongozi. Ndugu. Nini kanisa linahitaji leo? What does the church need today? Sasa baba au kiongozi msemaji tu. A leader, a father or just a speaking leader. Tunahitaji nini? What do we need? Kanisa linahitaji baba mzazi. Ah. Needs a spiritual father Tata, not just a kidogo kama alivyosema Joseph pamoja na mzee Eliamas. Yeah, just Ndiyo. turn back as Kiongozi, my pastor and uh, brother spoken as. Kiongozi ni yule anayelipa gharama. A leader is the person who pays the price. Ni yule anayetoa uhai. The person that gives his life. Ah, labda nikikumbuka kidogo sitaisoma lakini yeah. tuwa, kwenye Timotheo kwanza mawili. Let me remind you just from the book of Timothy. Ha, Paulo anasema. Paul says, mtu anayetamani kazi ya uaskofu ametamani kazi njema. The person who desires to be a, a bishop he desires a good job ili neno kwa viongozi wa leo this word uh, in the leaders today imechukuliwa vibaya it has been taken ili neno kutamani kazi njema to desire good work ni mfano wa kutamani uzuri wa mapato na mafanikio today we look upon looking about having ukiru, money and uh, profits ukirudi katika historia and prosperity but when you turn back in history aha uh-huh. paulo hakuwa na maana hiyo paul never meant that Paulo alikuwa na maana tofauti alikuwa anamaanisha kwamba anayekuwa kiongozi anapaswa kulipa gharama wakati huo kulikuwa kuna upinzani mkubwa sana wa Ukristo by that time there is, uh, there there is a struggling and uh, fighting against the, uh, opposition against uh, na viongozi waliwawa christianity and uh, leaders were killed tuseme mfano kwa mfano kama kama jeshi la wamrumi wangekuja kanisani leo msoma we can say maybe if uh, 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 <laughs> army of uh, romans, romans come to the church in msoma today wakati wa upinzani wa ukristo by the time of uh, opposing christianity kama wangeingia kanisani when you could come to the church swali la kwanza wangetuuliza the first question they could ask nani kiongozi wa kanisa la msoma who is the leader of the church in msoma na sisi wote tungesema and we could answer kiongozi wetu ni Amas our leader is Amas mm. ambacho kingefanyika sasa so what could be done huyu Amas angeshikwa Amas was taken angeuawa mbele yetu and kill in our, uh, as an example angefanyiwa mabaya mbele yetu tortured ili tu kutuvunja moyo tusiendelee na Ukristo just to discourage uh-huh. us not to sasa, continue in Christianity kwa namna hiyo ikapelekea kanisa likaogopa watu so wakaogopa nafasi ya uongozi and that way the church was uh, felt and feared maana ilionekana kiongozi ni yule atakaye lipa gharama hata ya kufa because mm-hmm. they knew that a, a leader is the person who could pay the price also Dio, to die Dio for, Paulo for Christ. Sema sasa uh-huh. that's why Paul says anaitamani kazi ya uangalizi au ya uchungaji au ya uskofu person desire uh-huh. to be a bishop ametamani kazi njema <laughs> manake ametamani kuchinjwa that is right to die ni tofauti na kizazi chetu sasa uh-huh. different in our generation today ukiangalia viongozi tulionao leo Paulo when you look uh-huh. at in the leaders of today you are the people that are you are kutengeneze wa kusalimiwa na kupewa saluti to be greeted and saluted wangeta ndikiwa mazulia mekundu akapita and red carpet spoken halikuwa uh, waso kabisa them, la Mungu hata Bwana Yesu anasema but that was not an idea of God because God says kiongozi ni yule anayelipa gharama kwa kundi the leader is the person who pays the price for the tofu, group tofu na uhai ah uh, apart from giving hata life maisha yake but also his life nataka niseme jambo hili Paul i can say this Paul maisha yanazungumza zaidi kuliko maneno life speaks more than words naweza nikakwambia usiibe i can mm. tell you that you should never steal naweza nikakwambia usifanye hiki maybe not do not do this lakini kimsingi kama mimi kiongozi nafanya hicho ninachokikataza but mm. if i as a leader i'm doing what i'm uh, advising you not to do kitakachotokea so what is going to happen maisha ya wale na waongoza in the life of that who i'm leading ni yale maisha sio yale maneno nasema is the life not this word that i'm speaking kwa hiyo tunataka kusema maisha ya kiongozi yanazungumza zaidi kuliko maisha ya maneno. So we can say the life of a pastor speaks more than the word that he speaking. Mimi nataka nimshukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ya wakati ambao tumeupata sasa hivi. So I can thank God for the moment that we are having now. Zili inachokifanya kwa maisha yetu kwanza. So what the gospel does in our lives is inakabili tabia ya kiongozi mwenyewe kwanza kabla ya kuafikia watu. It confronts the life of the leader before the cause before maisha the ya mtu kwanza yeah. kiongozi kwanza yeah. confronts the life of the leader alipe gharama yeah. to pay the price akubali kusurubiwa to be ready to be crucified maisha yake kikamilifu yeah. to put off his life kutokea kwenye maisha hayo sasa and ule uzao and from that life he be god yale maisha unyenyekevu 
the life that is yanaozaliwa kutoka kwake that is the ya gotten in maisha ya watu wanaoongoza to touch the life of the people hiyo ndio hali tunaiona sasa kwa kanisa la wakati huu this is the life that we are seeing in today's church nikizungumza kwa kanisa la jumla as if i speak as the church as a whole ninaona michezo ya kushangaza kesi ambacho ninashindwa namna ya kueleza i see very different thing kwa hiyo niseme kiongozi ni yale maisha so yale i can say a leader is the life not the word that you speak ni maisha so a leader is, is the life not the word that we speak <laughs> ndugu nyakarungu so mm-hmm. brother nyakarungu kiongozi ni yale maisha mm-hmm. that a leader is life sio maneno sio not maneno. words mm-hmm. kabisa na nikwambie ndugu paul so yeah. let me tell you brother paul kwa kweli kabisa truly ukimpata kiongozi mzuri yeah. when you have a good leader nusu ya maisha yako Mm. A half of your life yameingia mbinguni. Yameingia ya maisha. Nataka nikwambie. Ukimpata kiongozi mzuri. Ukimpata kiongozi mzuri. When you have a good leader, nusu ya maisha yako. A half of your life. Mguu mmoja tayari uko mbinguni. One leg is already uh, you already in heaven. I see. Kabisa. Acha nikwambie ndugu. Let me tell you my brother. Unajua ninachokiona leo. What I see today. Kwenye Ukristo in Christianity hakina tofauti na ile maigizo tunayaona kwenye TV. It's not different from uh, apart from the uh, actors and and uh, dramas that we see today. Yaani watu wanaigiza Ukristo. People are acting Christianity. Watu wanaigiza kusimamia mambo. People act oh, looking after things. Sio hali yao ya mioyo yao. Not the situation and the status of their lives. Ni mambo tu wanayafanya kwenye fahamu zao kwenye akili. Things doing uh, in uh, uh, mind. in mind. Haiwagarimu chochote. Cost them nothing. Hebu sikiliza kwenye Wakorinto wa kwanza. Let us look in, uh, in first Corinthians sura ile ya 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 ya, ya nne. First Corinthians chapter 4 mstari ule kuanzia wa 9 from verse 9 ni kuonyeshe picha kidogo tu ya kiongozi wa kiroho. Uh-huh. Sura ya 4 uh, first uh-huh. Corinthians chapter 4 kuanzia msari wa tisa. starting from verse 9 Biblia inasema maana nadhani ya kuwa Mungu ametutoa sisi mitume mwisho mm-hmm. kama watu waliohukumiwa wao wawe kwa sababu tumekuwa tamasha kwa dunia kwa malaika na kwa wanadamu sisi tu wapumbavu kwa ajili ya Kristo lakini ninyi ni wenye akili katika Kristo sisi tu dhaifu lakini ninyi mna nguvu ninyi mna utukufu lakini sisi hatupati heshima hata saa hii ya sasa sikiliza sign point yangu kwa hapo kuna moja sema hata saa hii ya sasa tuna njaa na kiu tuuchi twapigwa ngumi tena Hatuna makao. Uh-huh. Kisha twatabika. Uh-huh. Tukifanya kazi kwa mikono yetu wenyewe. Tukitukanwa, twabariki. Uh-huh. Tukiudhiwa, twastahimili. <laughs> Tukisingiziwa, uh-huh. twasihi. Uh-huh. Tumefanywa kama takataka za dunia na tama za vitu vyote hata sasa. Hey, first Corinthians chapter 4 verse uh, uh-huh. verse uh, verse 9. Kwanza mpaka 11. Mm. The Bible says that for I think that God has set forth us the apostles last as it was appointed to death for we are made a, a spectacle unto the world mm. to the angels and to the men. Mm. For, we are, for we are fools for Christ's sake uh-huh. but we are, we are wise in Christ. Mm. We are weak but we are strong. Mm-hmm. You are honorable but we are despised. Mm. Even unto this present hour mm-hmm. we have we we both anger and thirsty and are naked and we are buffeted and have no certain mm-hmm. dwelling place I and see. labor work with honor hands being revealed we bless being yeah. uh, spe- persecuted we mm. suffer it mm. being defamed we inter- uh, entreat Mm. We are made as the first of the world uh-huh. and we have uh, offsprings of all things unto this day. I see. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Sasa uh-huh. so ndugu Paulo mm. our brother Paul maneno haya hayajaandikwa na Shemas. This was were not yeah. written by uh, Dickens. Maneno haya hayajaandikwa na mtu tu kwamba ni mdogo. This uh-huh. was just not written by people. Haya maneno yameandikwa na mtume Paulo. This Uh, this was were written by apostle paul imagine tuseme kwa mfano 
alikuwa na jukumu makanisa karibia yote kama yako chini yake imagine mm-hmm. all these churches were under him. ni mtu alikuwa na nafasi ya kutumia washirika vyo vyo ta navyo taka yeah the chance uh-huh. to use the uh, mm-hmm. disciples the way you wanted maneno kama haya leo yakisikika kama labda kama paulo angekuwa mhubiri wa leo kama kipindi chetu hiki but yeah. could, Paul could be a certain uh, po, uh, pastor like pastors today angeambia huna imani wewe it, it could, it could be told that una kiu dhaifu kwa hiyo naona so we can see ni kiongozi ana nafasi na acha nikwambie angeweza kuitisha akisema leo tuna mchango maalumu you could be ready to call upon congregation say that we have a special kipato siju cha mtumishi wa Mungu na kadhalika the economy of the leader nataka nikwambie zingekusanywa hela nyingi sana i can tell you that we could uh, could uh, collect a lot of money lakini paulo but paul maisha yake yamenidhamishwa his life was disciplined lakini kwani ni vibaya kuchangisha fedha kwa ajili ya mtumishi wa Mungu is bad to contribute money for the people of God ni vizuri is not bad the the, the goal first eh, mm. must be mm. the priority is people to be well mm. spiritually kipo mbele kwanza ni watu I kuwa see. salama roho mwa yeah. today the church we see people lakini leo kanisa tunaona watu hawajali maisha ya watu ya roho they looking for money lakini wanaangalia kipesa hiyo ni shida kubwa msema jicho la paulo is to say that the eye of god linatazama rohoni na maisha ya watu ya umelele and the life of the people na ndio maana alikuwa everlasting life of the people not the life and the money that they are uko nasema alikuwa amepewa discipline so you saying that he was disciplined spiritually ameidhamishwa he was disciplined katika kristo amekuwa mfungwa katika kristo and he was yoked spiritually na kuna neno moja nalitumia and there's a certain word that he speaks leo huwezi kusikia tena you can never hear it today. neno gumu sana anasema paulo anafanya nyaraka zake asema paulo in one of his epistles he says that kristo bond servant bond servant of christ no no po You can see yani that anatumia anasema pa mtumwa he said that a slave yani a bond slave mtumwa hawezi kufanya mambo anayotaka mwenyewe a slave never works of his own desire yani ni kama yuko disciplined kwa, kwa kitu fulani katika ulimwengu wa roho kwamba hataki kuvuka mipaka but is discipline spiritual not to uh, to exceed no, no. with a certain goal in spirit mm. leo kwa makanisa ya leo but the churches today sio rahisi it's not easy unakuta mtu mkubwa kama huyu ndani wa kikao wanapanga mipango ndani ya nyumba you can find uh, people when they plant things ni, in the house nilikuwa nasikia mchungaji mmoja anamwambia mchungaji mwenzake <laughs> anamwambia bwana unajua nyumba yangu iko kwenye renta is um 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 he was at the level of the rent hebu niandalie seminar hapo so you should prepare a seminar for me ili nije nipige hiyo seminar that may come and uh, in this seminar alafu mwisho wa siku nigawe bahasha and all of the ah, water should goja, give goja, goja. <laughs> <laughs> yani kwamba anaandaa mradi wake yeye mwenyewe so yeah. yes, planning is on lakini anaenda huko kanisani kwa so going to the church ya yeah. kanisa yeah. Yeah. the ticket of the church kwamba yeye ni mchungaji anaenda kuchuma yeah. kanisa ile yeah. afanye mradi wake to take off money ama rizie nyumba yake to go and finish his house alafu Mungu ambinguni anaona jamaa unajua wakati mwingine mambo haya yanatuuma sana mbinguni Mungu anaona this word is very difficult mtu amechachamama dhabahuni someone speaks loud and siko sababu anawapenda watu not because he loves the people lakini kwa sababu nyumba iko kwenye renta because his house in the level of the rent hata kama alizie nyumba he wants to finish up his house na ni vitu vya duniani hapa nyumba ni vitu vya duniani matope Mm. things of this world. Wezi ni kana bibi nasema muyatafute yasionekana maana wewe unadumu ya ndani. Yeah. Uh, advice that we should look upon the spiritual things. Kuliko haya. Different from this. Hiyo Paulo ni marizie kwa kusema. So let me wind up by saying hii nimesema tu kidogo. I've just speaking uh, just a little bit. Hii ndio hali akisema ni mtume huyu. Mm. That is that is the status. Ndio yeye tu ina shaka. If he says the apostle you are tayari kulala njaa. Is ready to be uh, to sleep 
angry maana wakati mwingine anaenda kwa Korinto stuff because sometimes goes to Korinto anakuta kiroho mambo hayako vizuri he found the people spirits are not good anaona badala nianze kutafuta hela and he found himself not to have money maisha yao hayako vizuri but their life is not good kwa nini siweke hela nyuma kwanza niwasaidie kiroho why should i put why can't i put money wa uzazi uh, ndio moyo wa uzazi na nikimalizia nimeenda mahali fulani i went somewhere somewhere kufanya seminar for a seminar rafiki yangu tumehubiri njiri hii ya msalaba my brother spoke about this uh, gospel of the cross mabinti wakatuijia and ladies came to us wakatoa mioyo yao they mm. gave their hearts wakasema mchungaji umetusaidia they mm. said that pastor you are blessed that huko makanisani tulipokuwa huko in our churches tulikuwa hatuwezi kuheshimiwa kama hatutoe fungu la 10 na tutoe pesa nyingi we never be respected mm-hmm. if we are not giving the tenth ilikuwa inatulazimu twende tufanye uzinzi nje we sometimes we are supposed to go and fornicate tupate pesa na kuambia kitu live ndugu yangu that we may have money this is the truth unaona mm. tupate hela tuje to tutoe kanisani fungu la 10 that we may come yeah. and please the pastor alafu na sisi tuonekana sema tulikuwa tunaonekana wazuri kweli so that we may see that's also that's we are worthy of the mafungu ya 10 na sadaka zilizotoka kwenye uchafu so when they bring the 10th uh, the 10th percent from uh, yeah destruction and fornication um, ndugu yangu eric nina, so my brother eric utakatifu uko hapo ninataka nikushukie <laughs> eh righteousness maisha ya kiongozi the mm. life of the leader yakiwa ya gizani mm. when is uh, is in the dark kanisa lote ni giza mm. the old church is darkened kama muhubiri atakosa kuyajua haya if a uh, leader and a pastor never knew this kwamba yeye ni mzazi wa mambo ya rohoni kwa maisha ya hao wanaoongoza that is the leader and uh, an example to the people is leading ki ukweli ilo kanisa limeharibika truly that church is destroyed na wale watu wanaoongozwa na mtu huyu and the people that are led by this person wako hatarini they are all in danger huo ndio ukweli that's the truth mm. tunasema juu ya kiongozi ni yule anayelipa na kutoa uhai kwa jili ya speaking of a leader as a person to give his life for the church yeye anapaswa awe mfano should be an example kama sio mfano huyo sio kiongozi. If he's not an example, that's not a leader. Na mfano sio kwenye yale maneno. And the leader and as an example is not in the word that is. Mfano ni kwenye ule uhai wa maisha yake mwenyewe. Example is given by his life himself. Kwa hiyo ninachotaka kusema tunakutia moyo. So what I can say and encourage now. Sisi tunaotafuta nafasi ya kuchungwa na kuelekezwa na kulelewa. The people that wants to be read lazima, and to look upon. Lazima Mungu atupe macho ya rohoni. God should give us spiritual eyes kumhakikisha huyu kiongozi aliye kambele yetu uh, to approve the leader kwa maisha yake in his life kwa tabia zake in his conduct, na kama kweli amelipa gharama kwanza truly has paid the price for ametoa uhai wake kwa ajili yetu hapo na mimi nimpe maisha yangu that i may be ready to give my life lakini kama sio but if that's Hana not true kutu. hapana kutoa uhai i can never give huyo sio kiongozi that's not a leader kabisa kabisa <laughs> mzee amas uh, pastor amas mara nyingi unakuta watu kwenye makanisa kama makanisa mengi leo often in churches today kuna vitisho vingi vinatoka kwa watumishi wa Mungu there are so many uh, sorry threats threats in the church na hata kama unajisikia kwamba hapa sina kitu cha kiroho ninachokipata even sometimes you see there is nothing spiritual i'm gaining here mara unaambia utalaniwa utatakiwa iki sasa kama mtu yuko kwa kiongozi ambaye si baba mm. so if a person is in a, in a leader who is not a father eh hey, mtu ambaye ana ni laana ni leta pesa mpaka unaona shuhuda kama hizo mtu anaamua bora aingie dhambini ili alete pesa a person that always causes and sometimes led his people to go and fornicate to bring money na wewe labda unajisikia kwamba sipaswi kukaa hapa So what is the spiritual uh, what do you, you feel, feel yeah. uh, to be in certain kind of a place? Si paswi. I'm not supposed to be in a certain kind of a place. Huyu mtu afanyeje? Una tunamshaulije? So what what can we advise this kind of a person? Surely sometimes I'm tempted to think even those who are led themselves mm. I doubt what do they look for. Hata mimi wakati una hata mm. ninafika mali ninastajabu na kushangaa hao watu ambao wanaongoza na watu kama hao je wako kweli wana akili timamu na wanatafuta nini they are funny 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 gospel today kuna vituko vituko angii nyingi za vituko church leaders today mm. viongozi wenye vituko vingi some vi. even want to be worshiped wengine hata wanataka waabudiwe mm. some have funny funny and strange conducts na wengine wana mienendo ya ajabu sana my friend i'm i'm, I'm shocked 
Na mimi hata Lazima <laughs> leading the church he was even telling that he was saying we can't send anybody we want to see your welfare we want to see somebody who when he comes he will not look his own somebody who will come when he see your status He, he wanted to see the state of the, the, the of the spirit aitaa kuona hali ya roho but now lakini leo hii i think people like religions watu wanapenda dini they like religion and wanapenda dini just movement and like busy bodies na makusanyiko na mwili ukijia kanisa they want to dancing wanapenda kucheza they want to be light na wanapenda kuwapendezeshwa na kufurahishwa like they want the light wanapenda uongo that's 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 the thing hicho ndio kilicho that's the thing hicho ndio kilicho ndugu nyakarungu ah brother nyakarungu tunampa ushauri gani mtu wa namna hii so what kind of advice can we give to this person kiongozi ambaye si baba a leader who is not a father na yuko hapo mtu anaona vituko na vituko and a person is there seeing different and uh, stupid things tunamshauri nini what do we advise this person kwa kweli kama vile pia mzee ama sektangulia kusema kuna mtu alisema kama as a uh, said before me alisema Yesu mwenyewe that Jesus himself kwamba kiongozi kipofu that a blind leader akiongoza vipofu wenzake when he lead uh, his pra- uh, other blind people wote wawili watatumbukia shimoni they all fall in a pit na pia biblia imenipa usehemu imesema kwamba but also the bible says somewhere jaribuni mambo yote that test all things shikeni lilo jema but uh, uh, take hold take hold of the good things for you sio vibaya wewe so it's not bad for you ku 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 kupima kulingana na haya tunayokuambia maana najua hapa tunakupa vigezo ambavyo vitakusaidia wewe kumpima kiongozi wako give you the standards for you to measure the leader you have vikuweke nuruni to put you clear to put you in a light na nataka nikwambie ndugu yangu paulo let me tell you my brother paul hata leo wa viongozi wengi wachungaji wengi Even no, today no. men of the pastors wanatamani kuona makanisa makubwa. They desire to have uh, a huge and big, big church. churches. Na ndio maana wakifungua na nunua mamuziki makubwa, mafyombo, wapige disco, vumbi litimke hapo, <laughs> maana watu ndio wanataka vitu kama hivyo. So when they open a church they want to have big music instruments. Wanataka and makanisa to bring makubwa. The disco in the church, they want big churches. Ukifatiria. But when you look clearly, hutakuta kwamba you never find kwamba ile hali ya kutafuta kanisa kubwa they have attitude they kwa, want to have a big church kwamba wana moyo wanataka wawatumikie watu that they have a heart to serve the people ila utakuta kama wanataka wapate wafaidike na hela wafaidike na masira yao kutokana na wale watu wengi but you may find they want to benefit from the people the multitude they have sadaka ziongezeke that the more offerings wa michango wa kichanga yani iwe mingi mikubwa many contribution Eh, a lot of money. Unaona? Uh. Hiyo ndio nia yao. That's their desire. Lakini hali ya mioyo ya washirika wao, uh-huh. nataka niwaambie uh-huh. hakuna mtu anajua. Desire, un, una, unaweza kutoka kufanya ujambazi Jumamosi jioni, Jumapili ukaja katoa sadaka kubwa, and Saturday come and bring a big uh, offering. Jumatatu katangazo mzee wa kanisa mwandamizi. <laughs> on, on Monday you are, there, you are a leader in a church kwa maana hawa ni watu wanaangalia vitu vya nje because these are people are just looking for outer things hawana shida na roho yako they have nothing with your heart ndio maana hata hapo unaponisikiliza wewe uh. that's why when even when you are looking at me now una shida nyingi ambazo hata mchungaji wako hazijui you have many problem if 
Even your pastor knows none. Na hana shida ya kuzijua. And he has, he has no problem to know. Na hana msaada na wewe. And he has no help with you. Sasa huyu sio kiongozi. So this is not a leader. Hebu acha niwasomee kwenye kitabu cha 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 Isaya. Let me look for, uh, from the book of Isaya is Isaiah. Is, Isaiah sura ya 24. Isaiah chapter 24. Msari wa pili. Isaiah chapter 24 verse 2. Biblia inasema hivi. The Bible says, "Na itakuwa kama alivyo ilivyo hali ya watu" ndivyo itakavyokuwa hali ya kuhani kama ilivyo hali ya mtumwa ndivyo itakavyokuwa hali ya bwana wake kama ilivyo hali ya mjakazi ndivyo itakavyokuwa hali ya bibi ya, ya, ya bibi yake sasa ukipata nafasi utasoma kuna mambo mengi hapo kwa ajili ya muda utasoma tuwe mwenye hapo chini the bible says that and it shall be as with the people so with the priest Uh -huh. and, with, and with the servant uh -huh. so with the master yes and with the maid so with the mistress yes mm -hmm. as with the buyer so with the seller uh -huh. and with Now. the lender so with the borrower mm -hmm. uh -huh. so when you're speaking about the status is the Uh, the status of Ina the vile ilivyo hali ya mchungaji the status of the pastor ndivyo ilivyo hali ya kanisa is the mm. status of the church mimi nikifika kwenye kanisa na naoongoza paulo uh. when i come to the church that you lead paul nikiwaangalia watu when Dio. i look upon the people nitakujua wewe i can know you i see na kuna msemo pia unasema and the certain uh, saying that says nionyeshe rafiki zako that show me your friends ili nikujue wewe i may know you <laughs> unaona yeah. you know is can you see this kwa hiyo hali hapa Mm. So what we see here kazi ngumu ni kumpata kiongozi wa kweli. The difficult thing is to find the true leader. Tukipata kiongozi wa kweli and we have a true leader tumepata kanisa la kweli. We have found the true church. Tumepata no. uzao wa kweli. We have, uh, we have found the true uh, bond. bond. Watu watajengwa. People are going to be built. Zile nani choko choko mle ndani. And the word that are going to be spoken in hazitapata nafasi. Won't have a chance. Maana hapa tuna kiongozi because we have a leader ambaye ndani yake who in his heart ameshughulikiwa uh, he has been confronted kwa mfano unaona mtu kama Musa you can see a person like Moses mtu kama Musa a person like Moses yeye mwenyewe alitamani kumtumikia Mungu ah he desired sabga hata ukisoma maandiko kuna mara kadhaa alitamani kuwasaidia wana wa Israeli anataka mtumikie Mungu he had a desire to serve the people of Israel and you can see sometimes that he lakini, desired to serve the, uh, the sons of Israel lakini Mungu akimpima naona huyu Musa bado but when God measured, measured him ni yake ni njema was not ready to serve the people hmm. lakini bado ni wamwirini sana he had a good will but he was still kano ataribu watu wangu it's going to spoil my people mungu anaamua kumpitisha njia ngumu god, uh. Uh, god now took him fikiria to, to fik, fikiria kutoka kwenye nyumba ya ya, ya, ya farao can you think from the uh, from the palace mm. of uh, nyumba ya, ya, ya ikuru from the palace mpaka kuwa mchungaji wa kondoo to a shepherd si unaelewa mchungaji ukienda kwenye uchungaji wa kondoo huwezi kuulizwa hata cheti cha darasa la 7 you know when you are going to look for uh, look to take off huwezi kuulizwa hata kozi yoyote yani alienda kwenye kazi ile ya mwisho kabisa you never need a cause because that is the one among us the lowest uh, kind of a job kutoka kwenye nyumba ya farao from the house of pharaoh kwa hiyo mungu akaamua amtengeneze kwa mkono wake so god decided to build and to mend him with ili, his own hands ili aweze kufaa that, ili that kufa. may be what <laughs> kuongoza wana wa israeli <laughs> the people of israel sante sana ndugu nyakarungu yes. thank you brother uh, nyakarungu naam ndugu naona kama kawaida giza linatufukuza <laughs> na kupa kama dakika moja au mbili kwa maneno ya mwisho ninachotaka ni kumwambia uh, ndugu mtazamaji so mm. I can, what I can say to our fellow uh, viewers nimeshuhudia wahubiri wengi wanatumia hofu mm. I've seen that many pastors kukamata ufahamu wa watu threaten the people that he may take uh, take hold of them kuatisha take attention from them to threaten them to fear them kwa sababu wako kwenye hofu because when they in fear wameshindwa namna kujinasua they have nothing to ushauri wangu kwao so what i advise you ni kuondoka kwenye hofu na uoga wa kufanya maamuzi ya kubadilika 
take yourself from, away, away from fear and uyo have a, kiong, a desire to uyo, change. Uyo kiongozi ambayo yuko mbele yako. A leader who is before you. Ambayo maisha yake ata wewe unayaona hayajasimama sawa sawa. Who his life even you can see. Sio kufuatana na. He's not worthy. He's not a, pa, a leader to follow. Ningekutia moyo, kunyanyuka tu. I could advise you just to take off your shoes. Tafuta mahali mchungaji au kiongozi amekubali kulipa gharama kwa ajili ya maisha yako. Go in a place where a pastor is Mungu ready to pay a price sana. for your life and God bless you. Amen. 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 Like you sana. Amen. God bless you. Na mwisho tuje kwako mzee Amasi. So as we wonder let us come to your pastor Amasi. Ushauri wako. What is your advice? Our message today tonight was Ujumbe wetu siku wa leo ilikuwa the role of a spiritual leader. Kazi ya kiongozi wa kiroho. Oh a role of a leader in the church. Au kazi ya kiongozi wa kiroho. So, Kanisa. So it is so important. Kwa hiyo ni muhimu sana that leaders church leaders must first and foremost be approved. Kwamba viongozi wa makanisa na wa kiroho wazima wathibitishwe kwanza before they are given to serve the Lord. Kabla hawajatolewa kumtumikia Mungu. I would like to read this verse that we talked about. Ningependa kusoma mstari ambao tumeuzungumzia. It says, Unasema Matthew, Matthew 15. Kutoka katika kitabu cha Mathayo 15. 14. mstari wa 14. It says, leave them. They are blind guides. If a blind man leads a blind man both will fall into a pit mm biblia nasema wacheni hao ni viongozi vipofu wa vipofu na kipofu akimwongoza kipofu mwenzake watatumbukia simoni wote wawili it's not it's good that a christian should look a, 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 a leader ni vizuri kama mkristo ataangalia kiongozi the vision of god na aone akimwangalia kiongozi wake aone maono ya mungu for for me to carry the life of god ili mimi niweze kubeba uhai wa mungu i must pay the price lazima nilipe gharama die to myself niifie nafsi yangu so that i may be a vessel to carry the life ili niweze kuwa eh, kichombo kitakachobeba uhai and then when i have the life of god ninapokuwa na uhai wa mungu i will transmit the same to the people basi nitausambaza huo nilionao hai kwa watu and affect the life of others na niathiri maisha ya wengine so kwa hiyo this is the business hii ndio shughuli tuliyonao we must look for that leaders lazima tuangalie viongozi hao leaders who are models viongozi ambao ni vielelezi leaders who are good examples viongozi ambao ni mifano ya good mzuri. followers of christ wa wasi wazuri wa kristo because as they follow christ kama vile watakavyomfuata kristo the people will follow them basi watu pia watamfuata otherwise Vinginevyo we are led by a blind leader tunaongozwa na viongozi wa hiyo vipofu and we are blind also na sisi pia ni vipofu so at the end of the day na mwisho wa siku we fall into a pit tutaanguka kwenye simu amina amina thank you so much asante sana thank you so much asante yes. sana uh, tunaona pia <laughs> giza limeingia we can see that it's dark now lakini tumefaidika sana but we have, yes. uh, we have been blessed Tunawashukuru sana watumishi wa Mungu. We thank you servants of God. Asante sana mtumishi wa Mungu Nyakarungu. Thank you servant of God. Unaweza kuwapongea watu. Thank you wem. Aha. Asante sana mtumishi wa Mungu Amas. Thank you servant of God Amas. Thank you so much for watching. Asante sana kwa kutusikiliza. Pia mtumishi wa Mungu pamoja hey, na mtumishi wa Rafiki Eric. Eric. Together with us servant of God Eric. <laughs> Tumefurahi sana kuwa pamoja na mimi. have been blessed to be with you. Na nikupe dakika moja mchungaji Amas kuwakaribisha watu katika ibada ya kesho. Let me give you one minute. Maana tutafanya katika kanisa hili la msoma. Because we are going to have a service here in Musoma tomorrow. Ninatoa mwaliko kwa moyo wangu wote. I give an invitation from my heart. Kwa wote wanaotazama jioni leo. To all people and viewers looking uh, has, with us today. Haswa wale walioko msoma na viunga vyake. For, uh, for famous with the people who lives in Msoma. Hapa Msoma, here in Msoma, tunapatikana nyakato lakini eneo la Baruti. We are here in Msoma in Baruti. Ukija hapa idara ya maji When you come here to the ministry Kale ka barabara kanako panda kwenda kituo cha power station to that road which goes to the power station here in Nyuma ya magodauni ya shirika la chakula zamani just under the, behind behind, behind uh, the gardens of the national milling, milling. tuko nyuma yake we just behind the national milling yani karibu kabisa na barabara kuu iendayo mwanza just uh, just near the road uh, the main road to mwanza 
ukija hapa Baruti when you are here in Baruti nyuma ya magodown just behind the godown kama unatoka mkono wako wa kulia uh, in your right hand wakati unatoka unaenda mwanzo when you go when you are going to mwanzo nyuma ya magodown ya shirika la chakula behind the godowns of national mill nyuma utakuta kanisa la sayuni there is a church of zion tunakualika we invite yes. ujesikie injili come and hear the gospel injili inayoshughulika na maisha yetu the gospel which uh, which, uh, which confronts us atuhubiri wengine we never speak to people tunajihubiri sisi kwanza we never preach to people but we look upon ourselves first tukiwa tuki na maana kwamba with the meaning maisha yetu that our lives ni muhimu zaidi kuliko maneno yetu far more important than anything na namba yetu ya simu kama unataka kutupata ni 0754 0754 0754 0754 0754 narudia tena 0754 0754 Mungu akubariki. Yes. God bless you. Karibu abudu uje wabudu pamoja nasi. Come and worship together with us. Amen. Amen.